This is the show where you, the public, have a chance to give your opinions on the issues of the day. This is our pilot show, and we want to just take a couple minutes to describe to you the format of our show. We have a liberal panel and a conservative panel. And it's made up of average citizens and political activists, just like you in the viewing audience. No politicians, no elected officials are allowed on this show. We want to hear from you, the uh, citizens of this community, in your opinions uh, in terms of the issues of the day. I am going to be the moderator for tonight's program, and I'm only going to interject if a balance of time needs to be enforced to make sure that questions are answered that are asked either panelists and to make sure that the discussion stays on subject. Other than that, it's up to the panel to discuss the issues, to debate the issues, and fight over the issues. The topic tonight is liberalism versus conservatism, which is the more ethical and workable philosophy for the 90s. It's a broad topic, but I think appropriate for the pilot show. I want to begin by setting parameters for the show by defining from a objective source, Webster's Dictionary and the World Almanac of U.S. Politics, defining what liberalism is and what conservatism is. According to Webster's Dictionary, conservatism is disposition in politics to preserve what is established. A political philosophy based on tradition and social stability, stressing established institutions and preferring gradual development to abrupt change. A conservative is one who adheres to tradi traditional methods or views. The World Almanac of U.S. Politics says this of conservatism. In politics, traditionally seen as a wish to conserve or maintain the existing order. In the U.S., conservatism tends to believe in a powerful military, a limited role for the government in economic affairs and on social welfare issues and recently a strong government role to enforce traditional moral values. This is what the Webster's Dictionary 9th edition says of liberalism. Quote, a political philosophy based on belief in progress, the essential goodness of man and the autonomy of the individual and standing for the protection of political and civil liberties. A liberal is one who is broad-minded, not bound by authoritarianism, orthodoxy or traditional forms. The World Almanac of US politics says this of liberalism. As opposed to conservatives, liberals seek to change the existing order. With the development of inequities in industrial society, liberalism began to call on government to provide a minimum standard of living. In the U.S., liberals believe in a major governmental role in promoting social welfare. I'd like to, at this time to introduce the panels. First of all, from the conservative side, from Irvine, Scott Piotr. Good evening. Next to him is Newport Beach resident Tom Reinecke. Should be here. And next to him is Carol Royal from Tustin. Hello. Now on the liberal side of the political spectrum, we have from El Toro, Mitchell Friedman. Good evening. Newport Beach resident, Carla Bell. Good evening. And Fullertonian, David Torres. How are you doing? Again, the topic is liberalism versus conservatism, which is a more ethical and workable philosophy for the 90s. It's up to you, Pound. Go at it. Okay. Well, I guess it looks like everybody's looking at me to start <laughs> off. Um, I've always defined uh, liberalism somewhat similarly to uh, what Ron's read in the definitions, but m more practically speaking, I I've always defined liberalism as that in the economic sphere, uh, the liberals believe that government must play a positive role in trying to protect people in the economic portions of their lives. That means that we've always been in the forefront as liberals in this century to support things such as minimum wage or to get uh, loans for students to get to school. Uh, people to get loans for housing, the FHA program, for example, federal housing. 